there's a will. There's most certainly a way. Kamehameha coming through with the aerial of his own and said, look, man, this stage belongs to me just as much as it belongs to you. Oh, Ooh. damn. Okay, give him the clap. Get that checked. Oh! And if, if Wario's Nair does, like, fully connect at zero, you're going to get a lot of damage. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. it doesn't fully connect, but right there, Kamehameha getting everything, and there is the up air into the waft. He's doubted. Using the vulnerability right there with the grab. Oh, with the parry, he's still going with it. That's 47% right there that that kid can't get back. So I think he realized that, hey, every time you're in disadvantage, you're going to come down with him there. Yep. And so if he knows that he's coming down with him there, that's just free parries every day. And Wario, Wario he likes to stay in the air. He's going to jump around. He's going to hop around just so you don't know what he's going to do. And he's, he's, he's doing a good job. He's falling down with those nairs, popping up just a little bit so he can follow with the up air, back air. He's doing a really good job about it. No, KB2 I right now, he looks like he's fishing a little bit. Mm -hmm. no, I saw KB2 uh, following with a reverse neutral beat. He kind of like, shifted his momentum to get away from right. Wario. I think that's a pretty good way to get out of disadvantage. Oh, yeah. He's Ooh. doing a really good job, too. He's just he's just straight up nairing, like straight nairing pellets. He can't do anything. Yeah. That, that's that's really true. <laughs> he's straight up shutting down the entire character as a whole. Oh. You know, Brayden, uh, KB2 is just looking for those pellets, and if, if he can't get them, then it's not even... It's not working out, you know. Kim so Kamehameha's edge guarding is crazy. That is put, put it simple. Like he was on the on the right side. He was sitting there. He had everything scouted. He had the nair there. He was up tilting to cover the roll. The so he he can't he can't he's trying to fight Wario on his terms. Right. But that's the thing. You're you're a young boy. That's a grown man. Right. <laughs> you can't. You're not gonna you're not gonna be able to straight throw hands with Wario, man. He's just gonna slap put his hands on you. He'll slap you one good time. Uh, there was one situation where I saw uh, KB2 actually mix up the timing of his nair, so he didn't immediately nair as he was falling. Mm -hmm. He delayed it a little bit, uh, caught and caught Wario while he uh, was dropping the shield and got that. It actually got the hit. Oh my god! In top 32, I think that's really cool to see because this isn't something we're used to seeing. But I'm wondering how it's going to play into this matchup. What do you think? Yeah, this is actually super interesting because of the fact that usually Lilat is a place uh, that people just don't counterpick to, but at this event, I heard that pe more people were banning it. Yeah. But in fact, to have more people actually decide to use Lilac. I wonder if this might be a comfort pick here for Kamehameha. Okay, tries to get the jump read, but Kamehameha, uh-oh, too high in the sky right there with the bike recovery and did not fall prey to that mix of the empty jump up smash. May catch a lot of people off guard, but not Kamehameha. Yeah, it's like, okay, now you have Waft. Great. <laughs> You're at 80%. <laughs> yeah. I think what he can hope for right now is to get this Waft combo. Yeah. Get I mean, song. if you kill him right now, that's fine. But honestly, at, now that you've got plan at 64%, if you don't kill him with Waft, that's what you want. What was that grab interaction? Oh, yeah. This is the one, okay, this is the one thing I will give Wario. The edge guarding against plant should be pretty damn good. Especially with that down air. It tends to be horizontal. Gonna put him in a bad spot. Easy down air. Not as much damage as Kamehameha wanted there. He wanted to extend the punish onto the platform, but a perfectly timed tech from Mars. You just have to give it to the kid for that one. Of course. This is a bit of a slow burn here, but Kamehameha is really starting to make it look like it could be ended out in his favor. Okay. Going to the other side, yep. Jumping right over. The neutral B as well. The paralyzer. But Kamehameha is still aggressively fighting his way back. Has the percentage lead by a decent amount here. Wants to get this KO. The back is all the way off. Yeah. I'm at elevated, like, in the skies. But also, <laughs> you know... Looks like he's going to send them to the depths as well, and <laughs> mixing it up, because Kamehameha uh, seemingly losing that first stock pretty quickly. If he goes Ooh. off stage, if he can get a couple more percent, so another few like, neutral exchanges, he can get that stock and even it out with the Waft. Mm -hmm. All the weight, try to look for something there, not quite going to be able to find it. Yeah, he's trying to figure out how to get Abadango to react with something, but he's just not quite giving him the bait that he wants. He's doing a, still a good job of being able to let trap him. Yeah, still, even with getting hit by the Nair, it is pretty uh, low hit stun at these early percents. So, gonna be able to be just fine. Another opportunity, but yeah, Abadango just stays back. He doesn't want to risk any tech roll ins, and while Kamen is waiting there, be able to get a whap or something like that. Ooh, He's beautiful keep neutral going with the combo, yeah. Picking it up with the up air and getting the forward tilt at the left. Trying to make sure that he does not retain center stage, but a great tech chase situation gets a dash attack. Is he able to find anything? Ooh. No, just air dodge away. Not yeah. gonna, no risk from Tech Chase in into the WAF. That's yeah. going to be curtains for Abadongo if that lands. And and, and Kamehameha was like ready to react as well because you see he got that forward air and he just stood there waiting for the reaction from Abadongo. Not, not trying to get that combo he wants, but well, what was he doing with that bike? <laughs> trying to get him the mix up here. Oh, nice chill poke. Oh, oh no way. No. 
that F smash, definitely a misinput. It wanted the dash attack, but hey, he didn't get punished for it. So that is a-okay. You press a lot of buttons in this game as much as fast as possible. <laughs> so it's gonna happen that you're gonna misclick. But here's that edge guard that we were talking about with Kamene, so proficient on utilizing his tools against his opponent, and that was a whole stock lead. 60% is quite healthy with just a few little up airs like that, almost right back to even, but an entire stock ahead. Right, and that WAP is charging as well. And when you hit him with a Harley Chopper at 62%, if he even went for a half charge WAP right here on ledge, he is definitely gonna die. So he has to be careful. Temptation struggling to find the kill right here. Here it's, we go. Back. It's even just so hard for him to get in. You know, Fox being a character who is so good on getting a read and... Okay, we'll end it here. I, I have my damage and then we can reset the situation mm -hmm. for stuff like this. And now another dash attack in, trying to shield it and the back air out for, for temptation. Here we go, in there. Not Woo! gonna get it. Right now he kinda had him trapped on the ledge. Nico's done a lot of damage to command. He hasn't got much chance to actually get damage, but as I say, that up throw up air. And he immediately turns on the shield bar at that opportunity because he knows how the WAP may be coming, even if it's a weak one, and then I'll just lose a lot of momentum and stock here, so I have to make sure I'm not going to lose anything. Oh, that was a pretty tough back hit because that allowed Kamimi to just go ahead and go over him. Oh, look for the bike, but I'm pretty sure we're still on the, the top platform of PS2. Yo, man, watch yourself on the ledge. You don't want to get rid of James. Slap yeah, him yeah, out of there. Yeah, he James. He's still good, though. Oh, so no. Nope. the other way, downer. Yeah. Nope. Dropping that first stock. Only 94% on Nico, and the fact that uh, Kameme, he used that waft pretty early into the match, so he's gonna get one, maybe two more if this match goes on, so I understand the idea to go for it out of shield. Yeah. He actually got the parry. You know, it doesn't mean they're not willing to commit, right? So Kameme just choosing when and where exactly with the conditioning, with the neutral, amazing stuff. It really just shows how experienced he is. Yep. And just like that, now you see game two, Kame is just kind of keeping Mesmer out. Like, Mesmer is trying to like, jump the Kame. Kame is just backing off. <gasps> Meister continuing to keep on the pressure. 106, Kameme knows that he's not allowed to approach right now. Yeah. Charging up smash, that's just like, I'm not touching that with a seven foot pole. Well, here we go. He's got the game and watch at the ledge, and Wario ledge trapping is absolutely a scary thing to behold. Both of these guys are sitting at kill percents right now. He's going my, for safe my gosh. He's just jumping away, and Meister knows that. However, if Kamehameha keeps jumping away, eventually the Waft will come back. That's why he's playing extremely safe, not, not being overzealous. Doesn't want to push the issue. <gasps> Gets the Waft, and finally charge! But he's shooting out, <laughs> and then of course he'll Very also... Quick. <laughs> yeah, he'll also have a slower projectile uh, that is the uh, Hurricane, the yep. Tornado. And then I believe he has a reversal slash as his down B, which is a reflector. Yes, a reflector, yep. And then rapid spin, which is basically a link up B. Yep, and he'll like to combo that tornado neutral B into the, uh, the up B rapid spin for a kill confirm. You know, he's be doing so well. Yeah, he's not giving this. Yeah, he's uh, not giving. Even, even, you know, generally Mii Sword Fighter is a character that chips you a lot, you know, does a lot of, like, random damage to you. But he's not letting it happen. Actually, he's not letting any of it happen. 0% yeah, on command. Yeah, it's exactly 0%. Even though he's been spearing Chakrams. Oh. Man, dude, can, can you get a... Ooh, oh, the Chakrams. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was one of the first Chakrams to hit this game. Yeah, I Chakrams mean... Chakrams is a, a very annoying special, but actually not that hard to avoid. Yeah, Kamehameha doing a really good job not getting hit by it. Of course, right when bringing it up gets hit by like two or three in a row. But like throughout this match, he hasn't been oh, really good. slow Chakra? What? Yeah, if you, if you hold a certain direction, it's a... Uh, oh, ah, there's the wall. Trap. We already saw a couple of times, as you pointed out, D1, these cross-ups from Charlie, like with his dash attack on the shield, are doing so good, but an up throw to up air with some additional bike press. We're gonna see he's looking to get that closeout stock right now. And even without the wall, considering that, our percents aren't that different right now. Yes, and right now you look how reactionary Charlie is trying to play here. Uh oh, that was a little bit risky. Into and the wall! Problematic for Wario, because he does that does that motorcycle. He can he can make it back. He can make it back. Like he just can jump and punish it. Now he has full warp, yep. so this match is not over. He can actually get this stock and then combo upper upper to warp. Nice dash attack. And like I said, okay, that's 27%. Jab gets a huge damage. Oh, that's a that's a great shuriken. Mm -hmm. Not hit into the bike. 67% and uh, but you know oh nice parry again Ooh. and now he Kameme has rolled away and any other time he's just gonna respect it he actually gets in eats the bike and gets the chop on the game and watch as well gets a little bite room yeah this could be an opportunity but you see him trying to go for that forward tilt potentially if Meister gets on that ledge a little swat swat from his hand would catch him 
Yeah, four tilt is something that Kameme has looked for consistently at these upper percents to take those stocks. And now we'll see if he can do it again. Yep. Set up right before Arsene or just as Arsene comes up. That's going to be oh, a really Oh, yeah, that'll be a tragic position to be in for, um, for uh, two. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right. Arsene, and he's about prime time for that waft. There he looked for the, the weak hit. But he got oh, the wrong but side. He gets the wrong side. But it, it like burned half of our sense meter. But I mean, that's such a big resource out the window. Yeah, I mean, it's it's damaged, but you you you'd rather have the uh, you know, you'd rather have a kill. It flew him so far that he practically burned all the our sense time. Ooh, dash taking a normal get up. One nice thing is if you're getting jammed real hard, uh, our sense comes out to help you. Okay, <laughs> right. here's our sense though. Maybe okay, looking for a half off setup soon. Oh, tried to get the up, oh. so he, he's looking for that half off setup for sure. Oh, the Nair. There's no double jump. Very safe. Very patient here on this ledge trap. Tech chase. No, Kamehameha does not pull the trigger. Here's the waft. Oh, oh dang. Yo, the crowd's saying I think we he wants to finish it with the waft. No he way. gets it with the head hitbox. What? 